Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. We are just over 48 hours away from Utah and BYU. You can feel the anticipation building. Now, there are usually first game jitters and gaffes in week one. And when you add a rivalry game like this to the mix, it may be whoever makes the least amount of mistakes wins. You got to eliminate chaos. That's the key. In, in openers, it's just like when you go and see an opening act in a theater and you have all these miscues, miss, people missing lines. It's going to be making a theater reference. My mom would be like proud. Uh, but uh, you just got to avoid chaos. Zach Wilson's first season was far from chaotic. He finished with a flurry, and his maturity and poise should help him handle all the pressure in his second rivalry game. And pressure is one of those things that's always going to be there, no matter what situation you're in, especially being a quarterback. You know, there's always pressure with being a quarterback. Um, and I think that's where preparation really does come in. You know, he was... Uh thrust in there as a true freshman and I thought he handled it well and like you said his numbers got better as the season wore on you know you could definitely see him getting more comfortable in their scheme but if you can just make him feel uncomfortable don't let him just sit back there and, and uh, have time to go through all his reads snap after snap that's really what gets you in trouble you got to be able to disrupt him and that may be the key matchup in the game Utah's defensive line considered one of the best in the nation against BYU's relatively young but big offensive line I just know that our offensive line is confident. Um, we know what we have to do, and um, it's not like we're going to shy away or be afraid of a few players that they have. We've had a, a great opportunity to get stronger and bigger and faster, and so we'll see if it matches up. I know that uh, Utah's D-line brings a, a lot of experience and a lot of physical play, and I like that matchup. On the other side of the ball, the Utes are going to want to control the game with running back Zach Moss. They have, you know, Zach Moss, a running back that can can break break free. He's very physical, um, and they have some wideouts that can stretch the field. So it can be challenging being able to have to defend the run, but at the same time defend the pass. There are so many strong connections in this game. Perhaps most notably, the friendship of Kyle Whittingham and Kalani Satake. Coach Witt says he knew he liked Satake right away when they first met 15 years ago. It was that very first interview when I sat down with him and and we spent a couple hours talking together and and uh, hit it off right away and feel very close to Kalani. We spent a lot of time in the offseason again this year. Um, we uh, have a lot in common as far as how we think and and uh, personality wise. And uh, like I said, we had a lot of common ground. Yeah, there's a lot of common ground in this rivalry. For one, Kyle Whittingham, he doesn't like to admit this, but he graduated from BYU. Ah, Kalani Satake, of course, coached at Utah. There's friends, families, co-workers that are just split by this game. Oh, yeah. Anchors. No, well, maybe we're not. on the yeah. same team, but you my talk. marriage is split I'm gonna, because I'm of that. Your marriage is, yeah, yeah in Utah. jeopardy this week, right? <laughs> <laughs>